Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. And today I am using some uh, cat food packaging to make myself um, some tags. I need new tags and uh, cut off a few of these strips to make bookmarks, long bookmarks. Well, I went ahead and what I did was, as you can see, these are fancy feast uh, cardboard, it's uh, food packaging. And uh, instead of, let's see, scuffing the glossy side, what I did was I just um, put some white gesso on them. And yeah, that, that's it. These are three by six. I just punched a hole, cut little notches on them. The backs are not finished. But they're regular, they're the regular chipboard without the shiny stuff on it. So um, we can do anything on there. This is, the gesso is to, first of all, you know, dull back the printing on the cardboard. But also um, to help adhere anything we're going to, uh, we're going to glue on to here. Like, you know, gel prints or whatever. Um, so I did half of them in black. Um... I mean, I just them in white, but then I went um, over them on the gel plate with um, black paint. See, some got more, some got less, but they all have a little bit of texture. Um, I just thought that it would be fun to have some with black backgrounds. You can play around with that. Um, and I've been working on some. My desk is a little bit of a mess here, but I was uh, working on these three. Got two tags here and a bookmark and you know I'm just trying to use what I've got trying to use up uh, old gel prints you can see here the background is a gel print that is carnival tissue I've got some washi tape this is one of those um, ephemera packet flowers an old old gel print back there with printing on it and then this was uh, from a faux stamp I made months ago and all I did was I punched it out, but I punched it out where the owl stamp is. That's kind of cool. Um, and then I have this young lady that I did them, um, that I showed you how to color in in my last video. Um, and those are the Tim Holtz paper dolls that I painted with the clear gesso and then colored them in with colored pencil. And this is Grace, and we have her on a brick wall. I was doing some printing the other day using, or I'm trying to paint over some um, embossed paper and what I ended up doing is using book page to clean off my gel plate and I got um, some really cool prints with the brick one and uh, what I did here was I took a piece of old gel print and made a kind of like a background for her and that is the same paper I used here um, so they all have the same carnival tissue background and all similar colorings and you know balances and all that and I'm just gonna do um you know basic stuff like this nothing too fancy and then I made some tassels yesterday and I thought um I could attach some tassels to some of them especially like the bookmarks so we'll see let's see how far we get I'm only going to give this video about 40 45 minutes um because, you know, there's other stuff going on. And unfortunately, I can only film for that long. So, you know, we'll do a couple of these, get them done and, you know, or at least get them going and then I can finish them up later. But I just want to show you like how I approach things and just, you know, have fun, use up my old prints. Uh, I wanted to use this print here. This was from a long haul. I believe it was that mega haul I did. No, it wasn't. It was a different video, but it was it was a long haul process using these um, masks there. And I thought with the um, this one, since the tissue, it's not completely covered. So this is all tissue there. You can see that. I thought it'd be cool to do on the to put on the black. I mean, it's not really showing through, but I think that for the metallic, it just looks really good on there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue some of these down onto the tissue paper. And I'm using, this is Carnival Wet Strength Tissue. And it is um, 
uh, obviously gel printed on. So on the back side, I'm gonna go ahead and um, hmm, should I do the whole thing? You know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna do this tag entirely with this gel print. But what I want to do is use pieces of the gel print on black tags. How about we do that? that that's a good plan. Um, to adhere it, I'm just using this here. This is uh, Liquitex Matte Meat. Liquitex Matte Gel Medium. Oh. Made a loud noise. So I hope everyone's well today. We literally had, okay, so over the weekend we had a snowstorm. A lot of the area around us got a lot of snow we got some and then it just kind of disappeared yesterday or sunday oh no disappeared mostly yesterday then last night we had a insane rainstorm that lasted you know from last evening until early this morning and then it's now like in the 50s it's weird I went out today, I had to do some errands, and it was like spring weather out there. It was awesome. So, you know, this weather's weird, but what you gonna do? Enjoy the good ones, right? The good weather days. All right, that's enough of that. And I'm just going to, let's see, I'm gonna place it there. That's a good spot. I try not to move it. And just push it down. So this is a kind of, you know, use what you've got. Use up, uh, you know, painty papers that you have. So I'm trying not to move this around too, too much. So that's what that's going to look like. So if I trim it, it'll look like that. That'll be the bookmark and I'll just have to repunch the hole. But... Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to cut this portion off to allow that to dry and then we can use the rest of this tissue for the others. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to trim off some of the unpainted tissue and then just glue the, um, the overhang onto the back side and we can use we can use that to our advantage. I think we can. Yeah, so in my last video, I showed you how to do the paper dolls um, with colored pencil. And like I said, I made some tassels yesterday. It's kind of teaching myself. So some of them are kind of uh, uh, weird, but I don't know. I think they came out pretty good. Might have to even it out a little bit, but that's, you know, no biggie. I went out today. I got my Dunkins. I'm so excited. I love this stuff. I don't often go there, so it is a treat for me to um, to grab some while I'm out. That is loud. Apologize for that. All right, let's glue it down. Yeah, I just realized I didn't need to glue the whole thing, but you know. Oh uh, well. See, I can't, it's hard to talk and do stuff at the same time. Very weird. All right, so. Go ahead and snip the corner so I can get it folded well and it's not like bulking out on me. Okay. I did round the edges on the top of this one, um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna fuss too much about cutting the tissue round. I'm just gonna fold it over and I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's not very bulky. It's not that much tissue. And then do the bottom. Ta-da. All right, let me set this over to dry so I don't put my hand all up on it and cover myself in glue. 
don't know why I keep closing that. I'm just going to have to keep opening it, making that annoying noise. All right, so for this one, let's take some of this here. Maybe we'll do a circle. Now, wet strength tissue is not easy to tear. That is one of the drawbacks, but um, there is a way to tear it, but it can only be torn in one direction, and that's the direction the, rain, the grain runs. Um, so, for example, let's see this one. If I do that, see? That's the only way this is going to rip easily, going this way. If I were to go this way, it, you see how it just goes all wonky? So, it's, uh, something important to know when you're using that, the wet strength tissue. Okay, I think, I think that'd be cool there. Should we cut the middle out? I don't know, I kind of like the middle. Let me just leave that alone. I don't want to mess that up. And then, what if we did... Maybe like this corner here. That would be cool, right? Okay, so let's just trim this. And we can glue that down. I got a bunch of washi tape too. I pulled out, all, I got all kinds of stuff all over my desk. Um, you know, so in case we need it, we got it. And it's all good. All right, so that's got to go. I don't like that. Okay, so there we go. This is why you don't glue everything down right away. I mean, at least in my experience, because I always tend to need to adjust it. So I kind of play around with it for a little bit and then go with it. All right, for now, I'm going to go ahead and put these down because I know I want those there. And then I can always come and um, and then I can finish decorating it later once it's dried. And we'll just move on to the next one. Get this old scrappy paper here. Anybody else have a like a box or something of just bits of scrap paper? Like a lot of my What's in my scrap paper box is like bits and pieces I can write on if I need to make a note, uh, you know, like cutoffs, um, cutoffs of good paper that I know I might need that's like white or in the more neutral colors. And I keep those around. They're good for um, also like if you want to stamp a small image, it's good to have that on hand. I don't know. I just think that certain things, it's it's okay to save. Oh, speaking of saving, so over at PM Artist Studio, P is Patricia, M is Mariah. In the recent live stream, they talked about how P was organizing and cleaning up her stuff and kind of going through things, and, and Mariah was helping her. And one of the things that Mariah discovered is that she was hoarding foil. Not hoarding, but, you know, she was saving foil paper. And Mariah's like, okay, we, we, we got to kind of deal with this. Um, and then, so, it was funny because the day later, I got a, a container of, like a jar of coffee. And I opened it up, and this was the label, the seal. And I was like, oh, I got to keep this. This is really cool. And right away, I'm like, oh, my God, I am Patricia. I am Patricia. It all starts here with one piece of foil. Uh, I thought that was hilarious. So I'll have to save that. Oh, I meant to post a picture of that in Makers. I will as soon as I'm done with this video here. All right. So that, see, that's almost dry, too. And that I like. That's pretty cool. Now, not all these tags are going to look the same. I don't, I, ha I don't have like a specific style I uh, just kind of do what I do and kind of like 
look at it and go, okay, what can I do with this? And make it look cool to my eye because that's, that's what matters, right? I don't know. So maybe for this one, we'll go on that side here. Oh, and I just had the idea. What if we take pieces of this gold that we cut off, like the gold um, part, and kind of put bits and pieces? Because these are kind of looking like, you know, um, pictures of the galaxy, right? So we can put bits and pieces of this tissue there. So let me think about that. Okay, a little more medium. Oops, what is that? There's a chunk of something there. Oh boy. Uh, this way, Eddie, this way. And don't worry about leaving overhang when you're doing something like this because um, it's a lot easier to just come back and trim it off than trying to get it exactly right the first time. That ain't never gonna happen with me. And just kind of smooth it out. You can also use a smoother like this and just gently smooth it out. Um, and then maybe on this side, we'll do this big and right there. I'm gonna do that whole piece. And I think, I'm, I don't want to get in trouble, Mariah, but I think these are nested circles. They are a set of masks that you can purchase at pmrstudio.com. They are Yupo, and they are super on the gel plate. I even have my own stencil, which I should have very soon, actually, so I can show you how to use it, or how I use it. Um called Barbell Lattice, and it's a really cool stencil um, that I designed for PM Artist Studio, and um, it's my first of hopefully many, but let's see how this one does, and you know, we'll go from there. But yeah, they've been very busy over there, so it's been kind of hectic for them, which is, I mean, in many cases it's good because they're getting a lot of orders. But, you know, it's a family-run business, so it can be, you know, it can be stressful. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for doing all this, you know, arty stuff online. And then, you know, taking care of a website and orders and shipping. And then they've got a, a, a young child. And, you know, it's just it's a lot, right? So you just got to be patient. But... Your quality is always 100%, so that is definitely a, a plus of shopping with them and being um, part of their little world. They're very, very good at what they do. I'm just trying to get all that folded over. I think it'll be easier than just trimming it off. Okay, I'm digging this, I'm digging this. And then what did I do with that? Okay, the other one here, this is still a little, yeah, that's wet, but that's cool. And then on this one, we could always do um, a little black, something with black in it around there to kind of contrast. So, okay, so we've got our two tags here. How are we gonna do bits and pieces? Hmm. I don't want to use a hole punch because I don't think it'll work on the tissue. So what I may do is just have a little rip session. So these, these are 
turning out to be quite fun, I think. And then maybe like one here. Yeah, this last one can go right there. Okay, oh, that's one layer. Like I said, I'm not gonna finish all of these today 100%. They're gonna be maybe a third done, but you know, I could always do another video. Oops. Pulled out some gel prints I want to use. There's this one. I just posted this one in Makers yesterday. That one I did. Um, ooh, this one's cool. This one is from the live stream I did for the Streamathon. Let's do some with this. And what I did with this one is there was gel printing, and there was. Um, also, um, I'm using, I was using some textured papers and some, these weird, um, they're like for the tub or, or, you know, so you don't slip. Um, but they had some cool textures on them and, uh, my friend Tracy sent me those. So I was using those. There's some on here and then there were some empty spots open from where the paint didn't pull right. So I just, from the back, I went with, uh, some distress spray and blue and filled it in. Oh, it's kind of cool. So let's go with it. Let's go with the, where's some of my white tags? Let me do, let's do three tags. Can we fit three tags on here? So I'm thinking, there's that, and then there, um, let's see what else. No. Kind of seeing what, what I have here, what, what, what will work. This is um, painting papers on um, old page, pages from an old cookbook. Okay, so I'm going to do a book page here. And then over here, I'm going to do the gel print. Okay. And for this, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just keep using the gel medium. It just works better because there's paint on the back too. And the um, the gel um, or regular like glue stick will not really let it adhere too well. Just, it'll come up and then it's a whole thing. So let's just use what works. Let's just uh, get stuff out of the way. Oops, I dropped something. Was a bookmark, I think. Yeah. I went into my local thrift store today, and it's just ugh, it's gone so downhill lately. I'm so bummed. There's another one like just a few doors down from that, and that one just I never go to because they have never have anything that's of any interest to me. It's all like. It's just nothing good. Nothing that I would consider worthy of buying to use in my art. Let's put it that way. It's just not, doesn't have what stuff that I would use. So maybe we do, let's see where this is. Oh, this is tearing today. It's just going to go like this, right? So. Hmm. Let me just cut. I'm going to go ahead and thinking there would be good. Let's just start little by little and we'll get it down exactly where we want it.
Okay, and then look further down. Hopefully this will all cover. If not, we can just piece another, put another piece in there and cover up the any of the background showing or the white, you know. We're just going to cut the white tissue part off. Okay, so far so good. I don't mind that right there. I'm going to leave that alone and not fudge with it. That's kind of cool, right? All right, let's put that there. Put this bit here. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna put the that there. That line won't show. That'll that'll get trimmed off. Right there. Okay. Get a little bit more. More on the mat. Mat. What I'm trying to do is avoid getting this on the card so that I don't, I can just trim it off and I don't have to worry about a, a line, you know? All right, a little glue in here. Yeah, back to thrift stores. I would love to go somewhere that has some really good thrift stores and check them out. I mean, I am not traveling anytime soon, but, you know, that would be a goal for some time down the road this year. And then come over here with some jail print. And, like, see how the, we did the opposite here? It kind of helps because it's kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Dokey artichoke, I think. That one's done. I'm just gonna let me trim some of this off. I'll glue it over later. It's just very wet on this side and I don't want to muss it up. Because you can tear the tissue once you use the gel medium on it. If you handle it too much, it can tear on you. So just be careful. We'll start with this edge. Oh yeah, there's some guy's face on the back. And let's just give it a tear and see where we go. Voila, that's how I decide. If you guys are interested also, I meant to tell you, I put, put it up on my community page again, but I am um, offering, I'm selling uh, mystery bundles for um, $12 on my Ko-Fi page. All the link is, information is down below in the description box. And there's a few left. And basically what they are, are bundles of ephemera I've made. A lot of it I've made on video. Um, it is ephemera. It is uh, gel prints. 
you know, pieces of gel print. They are, um, some have little journals, some have little art journals, some have stickers. I mean, there's a little bit of everything in each one. Um, so they're all really good. Like, I got one response from somebody who said that there's a lot in there for, you know, she was surprised at how much there really was in there. So, yay. Um, so, yeah, check that out over my Kofi. And um, that's how I'm able to do some new stuff for you with your support. It's funny, I just cleaned my sister, my sisters. Oh boy, oh boy, I don't even have sisters. I cleaned off my scissors and I um, recently with some acetone, I finally got my hands on some of it. And um, now I'm gumming them up again. Yeah. Like literally, I think last week is when I cleaned them. Yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, what you gonna do is gonna glue it down. If you're wondering why sometimes I have a Southern accent, it's because I lived in the South for many, for many years. So I picked up some stuff, you know. Yeah, city boy went from living in Boston to living in the South. And it was uh, quite a culture shock. But I was young, like very young. So it was just, it was another adventure. That's how I saw it. It was fun. I learned so much, met some awesome people. Went to some awesome places. Like one place I remember when I lived in Memphis, um, I had a friend who I knew from Boston whose family lived in, she was from Arkansas and her family lived there. Most of her family lived there. And she eventually moved down there while I was living in Memphis. And so we would, um, meet up and uh, she would take us to Heber Springs. And from what I remember, Heber Springs is, is a big lake, maybe more lakes, I don't know. There was at least one big lake we went to and it was so much fun and they tried to get me to water ski, but I'm deathly afraid of the water, like drowning, so that, and I don't swim, so there you go. I, um, <laughs> so I didn't do that, but it was, it was fun. We were out on the boat, on the lake. And there was even another time where she took us to her um, grandma's cabin. And we stayed there. It's along, right along uh, the river. I, don't, I can't tell you which river it was. But, yeah, it was, it was just like really cool, rustic old camp or, or cabin. And it had um, this really huge window that faced out into the woods towards the river. Mind you, beautiful during the day, right? Great, great view. But we didn't get there during the day. We got there in the middle of the night. And the middle of the night is pitch dark in rural Arkansas or any rural area really that is like you know where people have their cabins and so we let her drive my friend was driving and then she took over because she knew where she was going and it was just too dark for him to kind of like um you know navigate with any success or any confidence so we uh we let her take over, and um, we're driving down the road, dark road, and all around us is dark. And all of a sudden, she pulled off into this, we thought, a ravine. And she's, like, going down this thing really fast. And we're, like, freaking out. And she's like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, what are you doing? That's where her grandma's cabin is. It was just down that thing. It was just a steep um hill to get down into that area 
Oh, we were terrified. Then we go inside, and it's really neat. Like I said, rustic, old, um, room for everybody, and, you know, had a kitchen, nice bathroom, everything. And I was like, why are the curtains black? And then I was like, oh, there's no curtains on those windows. It's pitch black. That was something. That was very, very interesting. So, yeah. it's a bit spooky, but we survived. I survived to tell the tale. There was no boogie band out there. All right, let me trim this up. Yeah, we went down to Arkansas a few times while we lived in Memphis. I mean, it's close. And um, it's a great drive. One time we were driving back from Arkansas. We were driving back to Memphis from Arkansas. And, um, you know, we were young and we're like talking and listening to music in the car. And my friend Amy was with us at the time. This is the, the girl who was from Arkansas, whose grandma's cabin we stayed in. So she is with us. We're driving back to Memphis. And um, we're on this road that, you know, we always took. And it's normal road, you know. It's just, you know, farmland, but whatever. And um, all of a sudden, I'm like... Because I was sitting in the back seat. I was like, guys, y'all notice the sky in front of us turning green? And um, she said, oh, no. I said, what? She said, that's not good news. See, it rips on you. Ugh. I said, what do you mean? She said, turn on the, um, the AM radio, whatever. You know, let's get some news. So sure enough, there was a twister warning and uh, we actually saw a little bit of it and uh so we oh that ripped off that's okay so we hauled it back to Memphis and everything was fine we we there was no rain we didn't get hit by a twister nothing but as soon as we got home like literally walked into the apartment the skies opened up and it poured and there was thunder and lightning and wind and it was like the apocalypse. It was crazy, but it was interesting. And you see here, I ripped that off because I was too aggressive and then there's glue on my mat. So let's just take a little bit of this and we stick it down and cover that up. Come on, stay. Yeah, so definitely had some fun times down south. Yeah, so after Memphis, um, I got a promotion. I went over to Atlanta, worked there for a little while. That was fun. I worked in Buckhead. I worked uh, as a visual coordinator thingy and manager slash, you know, everything else for... Um, for J. Crew, that was fun. I was uh, at their mall there in Buckhead. There, I forgot what it's called. These are pretty dry. These are definitely dry. So, what else can we add to these to jazz them up? Do I have a little one who's maybe sitting down? This one. That's too big. Too big. I went ahead and I actually painted several of these with the clear gesso, but I didn't color them in. But I'd have them ready if I did want to color them in. So. That's cool. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm not going to color these in, but I got to find something for this young fella to be leaning on. 
you know? I need something to lean on. No, I don't want to use any more of that because I think there's enough on there. Maybe I have some ephemera bits. Do I have a washi that might work? This red washi, red and gold is always nice. Let's do that. I'm gonna do a strip of washi across here. Okay, but I'm gonna put a little glue on it because I don't trust washi always, especially when there's this much stuff on the tag already. Let's um, let's give it a fighting chance, huh? There. Now the backs I'm not going to be concerned about today because those are, you know, sometimes I'll put um, coffee dye paper on the back so you can write on it. And sometimes I'll do, you know, more decorating um, or just something like a fun paper on there. So... I think something simple as that will work really well. There you go. Let's give them a sentiment. A you little know, ink, Insta ink box. They're great for storing, you know, stuff like this. So, you know, save them. Celestial, here we go, perfect. Doesn't have to be a whole sentence or, you know, quote. Just a word's fine. Pop around, come on glue. sentiment down here. And then let's glue him down a little glitter glue. And with these you mainly want to focus on your edges because you don't want that popping up. And a little bit in the middle there. Sorry, kid, I gotta squeeze your head there for a second. There we go. And glitter glue will dry clear, so don't you worry about that. Wipe some of it off. All right, there we go. Let's get this young lady, your little kid, get her down here and position. We can put her there, but we need something to go with there. I don't know if it's going to be washi tape. Do we want to do more of that red washi? Hmm. Maybe just do it like up to there, like behind her. Let's try that. Right on the back, there we go. So we'll glue her down. I 
The hands are starting to, starting to not want to work. Okay, there you go. That's okay. That's good. Kind of correlates with that one, but it's not as much. That's, I'm cool with that. And then we can do... Let's find her sentiment. Let's see, we got these. We got the bookmark. The big bookmark. You know, I'll drop the other one. Fetch it. Here we go. We repunched the hole here. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, some of these holes are not lined up 100%, but don't you worry about it. Now, once I get the back on this and I put it under a something heavy overnight, it'll flatten out just fine. Just fine. There's quotes in here. Maybe we could put a quote on here. It's too big. Hmm. The poem about the moon. Use that. Hmm. Let's just rip around this to give it a more interesting look. Give it a nice tear. And just be careful with the bottom here so I don't rip off that last line. I don't want to leave no poetry cliffhanger. Oops, I almost did. Okay, so there, that's enough. Back where you go. And then let's see. We can measure this out, make sure it fits. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it in two parts. Maybe one part here. One part here so it doesn't cover up the entire like middle section you know kind of break it up Instead of using ink to go around the edges, I'm going to use this gold pen, gold um, metallic pen marker thing, and give this kind of a cool look with the gold. And then we can, it'll look really good. One of these is a deco art or deco color premium. Give it a nice 
you know, edge that'll work with the background there. Also, the ink, if I use a distress ink, it will really smear a lot if um, when I'm going over it with the Mod Podge or glue because it's water reactive. And so I don't want to do that on these. This will stick okay because it's just some one layer of paint down and it's not very thick. So I think this will be okay. Okay, I'm digging that, I'm digging that. So I think I'm going to leave it here, the video, because I think you get an idea of, you know, what I'm going for, just kind of using what I've got. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, the most perfect thing ever. It can be what you want it to be. And these are the three completed ones, the two tags and the mark. Let me clean that up. So there's the bookmark, goes like that. Let's see if I can, let me match up some. Well, there we go. We can put this on here. Let's go. For, let's let's see what we can do here. And get this through here. Now I'll have to undo this, so I'm just kind of temporarily putting it on just to give you an idea. And then I would tie that. Let me get that. Let's see. This, we could put a gold one. I want to push this up a little bit. There we go. Cut this just a little bit. Give it a little haircut. That would be good for there, all right. have another red one for that do i yeah i do i do this one has a gold has gold um yarn for the accent piece then over here i have this blue that would work really nice and i think i have let me see That purple, there we go. This purple and gold would look nice here. Yeah, so I got a few options, got some stuff to work on, but it's a good, it's a good start, you know? So you can kind of see my thought process of when I make tags and stuff, you know? They're always different, they're always fun, but they're mixed media. Use up what you got first before you go out and buy anything, because you wouldn't believe how much you can make with what you already have. Trust me, challenge yourself to do that. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, everyone. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.